assalamu alaikum welcome to rafi tech tips youtube channel in this video we will integrate drivers in windows iso image for this we need msgm toolkit let us first download this toolkit uh, we uh, download this zip file so it is uh, of 25 mb and uh, after downloading we will uh, copy this into our folder and extract it so uh, this is extracted let us now copy the iso image into iso folder of toolkit So after that we will extract the drivers. So in this folder we create our driver folder and we execute a command in command prompt to copy drivers from windows folder to this folder which is located in our msgm folder so we open command prompt in administrator mode and we execute this command so this command is being executed it will take some time i am fast forwarding it to uh, make the video size small so uh, all the driver has been copied into our driver folder let us now copy these driver files into a driver folder install and windows 10 x64 as our operating system is 64 bit and mostly the newer system are 64 bit so the next step is uh, to execute the msgm toolkit command let us first uh, extract the iso image so we extract the dvd iso image let us copy the iso image file name Uh, it is not working so I am typing it it will also take some time to extract the ISO image in this uh, command prompt control B command doesn't work so you have to type the windows file name let us now quit check our dvd folder whether the iso image has been extracted or not so here are the windows files let us run the msgm toolkit command again so continue and we select the source command number one here again command number one It is now reading the information so we select uh, number 6 windows 10 pro and enter yes and yes so this step also takes some time i am fast forwarding it So we again back and let us integrate or apply windows drivers into this windows files. Select command number 2 windows drivers and again command number 2 integrate to installation image. So this will take again some time. So we continue. 
go back again go back and we apply the changes again command number 2 apply and save the changes to source image yes yes and continue it will also take some time I am fast forwarding it it is basically applying the changes of the files that has been integrated that has been copied into windows files I am not skipping it because if I skip some person may uh, not have the idea how much time it does take so I am simply fast forwarding it now unmounting the image so we continue let us now move to the command number 6 target uh, we make a dvd iso image command number 1 and here we enter the iso volume label and iso file name it is now basically creating an iso image with integrated drivers everything is done let us now quit and check whether the image in the is folder has been created or not as you can see this image has been created and the file of the newly created uh, iso is larger than the previous iso image 